expect to see an Irish government running the whole country. But I, I don't know how, how, how that can come about. But it's my fervent prayer that the shooting and the murders will lay down and that acts of violence will lay down because, that, you know, acts of violence generate one another. When you shoot somebody in eight and they, his pal shoots you, it's modern eight. That goes on secular, secular. I hope to God and I pray to God every night that I'll see the end of that. What role... Terrible. What role do you see, David, for the Protestants in the Northeast in a united Ireland? The Protestants were always good citizens here. When we set up our own state here, the best citizens were the Protestants. They were law-abiding people and they still are. And I think they should get a fair hunt, even though they're a minority. They should get a fair hunt and they will get it from any, from any, from any native government. They have no hope other than that. There's, there's stagnation up there and, and murder and rocks and shooting and killing women and everything else. I can see no end to that. It's a hopeless business. I hope to God the day will come when they'll have a bit, when every side will have a bit of sense, the IRA and the UDF and the rest of them. They'll, they'll settle down, to be reconciled to each other. And be, we're, all, we're all children of the human race after all. It's really a terrible state of affairs in the 20th century. See mines going off and millions of pounds thrown down the drain for no good. I can see no end to it. I think the British will have to pull out of it. And if they have any sense, they will too. Because there's nothing to be got for England in it. Nothing.